Hi guys, welcome back to Judgment. Last time we tailed Higashi over to the arcade that he uses as a base of operations and he told us a little bit about the circumstances of Kaito getting expelled from the uh, family. We also did a fun sub story with this girl who aspires to be a singer and it was a lot more heartwarming and wholesome than I expected it to be. It caught me a little bit off guard. It kind of hit a little bit close to home as somebody who is striving for, you know, something myself, a, a dream that seems unreachable here on, you know, YouTube and Twitch and everything like that. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. And what are we doing today? I honestly don't know, but I guess we'll play and find out. All right, guys, enjoy. Bye bye. Okay, report to Kaito. Trying to remember exactly what was going on in the story. Kaito got beat up. Oh, we went, we went and um, tracked down um, Steve Bloom. Talked to him a bit. Called him a softy. Had a flashback. I remember now. Guy almost lost Yo, his finger. How'd it go? Fine. I ended up going in that arcade. Talked to Higashi. He caught you, huh? Nah. I just wanted to have a chat. Anything come of it? First off, Matsugane-san's completely lost control of Hamura. Apparently, Higashi has no choice now but to follow his captain's orders. Fucked up. When we talked, though, it felt like I was talking to the same old Higashi. Didn't look same old to me. If Higashi has really changed, I bet it all started after the break-in that got Kaito-san kicked out. I wonder what came of all that. About the stolen money. You know a year ago, when you got expelled from the family? Uh-huh. It was because someone stole a hundred mil from the safe, right? Yeah, what about it? What ended up happening with that? Did you ever hear anything? Apparently, Higashi got it all back. At least, according to Ayabe. Higashi did? But how? Not a clue. I would have had to fork up another 200 grand for more info. I didn't have the cash, so I dropped it. Haven't brought it up since. Sounds like Ayabe has a lot to tell us. It'll cost you. Bet you can find him a tender around now. Okay, about Higashi. Kaito-san, how long's it been since you saw Higashi? Today was the first time since getting the boot. Hamura would have been all over him if we kept in touch. I didn't want to weigh him down, you know? Gotcha. About Hamura. I wonder what Hamura will do next. He'll be back here soon enough. It's just a matter of time. Wouldn't even be surprised if he tried to off us. <laughs> you think we pissed him off that much? Well, he doesn't want us catching the mole, that's for sure. Other than that, I think he just hates our guts. Damn. Even though we're the reason he's a free man? Guess we just can't catch a break. I quit. <laughs> new jobs here you heading to tender whatever info ayabe's got is gonna cost you you know i hope i have enough then i'll figure something out if not i have money we should have enough welcome back doc so rumor has it you've been serving drinks to a dirty cop in my bar I take offense to that. <laughs> Ayabe here yet? He said he's heading over. Before that, though, Taka, I've got a little job I'd like you to handle, if you would. Of course you a do. job, huh? Only the best detective in Kamaroto can handle this case. Oh, yeah? Well, then how can I refuse? Masuda always has had a way with words. Ah, you're blushing. I mean it, though. Then clue me in. Would if I could. I never actually asked. The client's a regular of mine, though, so you don't need to worry. 
Why? Okay, now we can get jobs here. Why does he sound so familiar? He reminds me a little bit of Sojiro. Maybe it's just the setting is aligning. It is? Okay, it is Sojiro. I didn't pick up on that before. I don't remember him. We must have heard him speak before. All right, what is the case? An anonymous client. I heard the Yagami Detective Agency is the best detective agency is in Kamurocho from the Master of Tender. Come to Hills Garden Park on uh, Hills Garden on Park Boulevard. Anyway, you'll need to head over to a place called Hills Garden on Park Boulevard. Right now? Right now. And I'll let you know when Ayabe-san comes in. Come on, detective. It's not like you to turn down a paying job. Huh. You got me there. Now I can't, like... I can't not think of him as Sojiro. <laughs> Damn it! Alright, let's meet this anonymous client. This is where the client told me to meet him. Oh! Is it our friend? Our mysterious friend? Detective Yagami? Are you my client? Ah. Bro? Yeah, you can call me Crow. Mm -hmm. That mask. Are you in that group of thieves everyone's been whispering about lately? Why? You wouldn't snitch if I was, would you? We may be thieves, but we don't steal from the righteous. Just the bad guys. You know, like Robin Hood. And because they're bad, it's not a... Oh, and because they're bad, it's not a crime? That's for a judge to decide, not me. <laughs> really? You're more of a goody two-shoes than I thought. The barkeep at Tender told me this was a request from one of his regulars. First Sojiro, now Crow, and Robin Hood. It, it, I was thinking the same thing. It's definitely all lining up. But he knew I'd turn down a request from a thief, so he lied to me. Damn, that's cold. Here's the thing. I protect my client's privacy, so you can rest easy about that. But if you're trying to get me to help you steal something, I'm not accepting your case. Okay, that suits me fine, because all I want you to do is find someone. Hmm? Find someone? He goes by Jester. I don't know his real name. So he's... Ah. Yes, he's one of ours. But I haven't been able to reach him for a while. I think it's safe to say he's missing in action. You know what he looks like? As his name suggests, he wears a Jester's mask. Oh, really? Uh, what happened to our boy? Jester instead of Joker. Okay, Doom, you need to stop. Just, we're playing, we're playing Judgment, okay? This is not Persona 5. <laughs> and these are not the Phantom Thieves, okay? Even though they really look like the Phantom Thieves right now. <laughs> I know exactly who that is. One of our guys screwed the pooch and we ended up needing to run from the cops. We only managed to get away because Jester distracted them. Hmm, sounds like a hell of a friend. That's why we lost touch with him though. But he's way too good to get captured and that's what makes his silence all the more perplexing. Sounds like you have a lot of faith in him. He's our ace in the hole. He's smart, professional, and really good. So if he's in trouble, we need to be there for him this time. I see. I'll pay you 50,000 yen, and don't worry, it's clean money. Mm. I was curious about that guy myself. If I take this job, maybe we'll cross paths again. Yeah. All right, I'll accept the case. <laughs> and it's a done deal. We'll be expecting results. Wait, how should I get in touch with you if I find anything? Come back here when you find something out. We always have someone watching this spot. We'll know when you come, Yagami-san. I see. So long then. <laughs> Kodum is freaking out right now. This is exactly what like what happens in P5. I'm helping a group of notorious thieves find their buddy. What is life if not an adventure? Where do I even begin? 
I guess it wouldn't hurt to check out the spot where I saw him last. If I recall, that was the building behind Tenkaichi Street. Let's move. Okay. All right. Well, I'm quite curious myself about this character here. So, this jester. But I also think we should start a new friendship real quick. Oh. Domo. At this place. Oh, you know this is going to be good. Greetings, sir. Would you care to see some breasts today? <laughs> talking some world-class lady loaves here knockers that will knock your socks off some incredible inflatables huh wait a minute yosuke-kun eh? oh iagami-san what the hell were you just asking me <laughs> <laughs> oh uh <laughs> you see i'm actually working part-time as a barker do we want to mm -hmm. befriend him wait what I thought you were supposed to be a student. Hi! I am. In fact, I'm going to a vocational school right now. Well, then why is a vocational school student working as a barker? <laughs> oh, a lot of us students this kind do this kind of work. It's easy and it pays well, you know? Hmm. That may be true, but I must say... I'm not at all, not all impressed with your career choice. <sighs> hey, now actually a very important job a noble undertaking even oh, no. so i will ask once more are you ready to witness the honkiest hooter experience you've ever had in your life <laughs> honkiest hooter experience i'm making a note of that Huh? Dude, do these terrible names work on other guys? They're certainly not working on me. Oh, Wait, there's actually a reason why I'm doing this. Call it a greater purpose, if you will. I'll even beg if I have to. Well, he does seem to be pretty earnest about this. Should I just play along? Yes! I could always take a quick peek! Yeah. Alright, you're at least trying to take this seriously, so give me the club's name and let's be done with this. Oh, great! Thanks, man! Hey. You're not doing this because you're low on money, are you? Nah, this has nothing to do with money. My family's actually pretty well off. Besides, there are bigger, more bodacious issues at stake here. Hmm. I'm curious about this issue of yours. <laughs> I'll save those details for later. First, let me introduce you to the finest young hostess that Kamurocho has to offer. She's innocent, she's lovable, and she has a good heart. And to top it off, your visit's on me. If it's his... If it's his sister... I just... I feel so gross if it's his sister. Huh? You'd go that far just to get me into your club? Hi! To get you to meet this girl? I'd practically do anything. Hmm. Really now? Really, really. In fact, I'll even let you order the most expensive drinks in the club, all on my tab. And you can afford all this how? <laughs> Dude, I make cash money on this job. I'm talking like 500,000 yen a month here. Huh? What? You earn that much just pestering pedestrians about breasts? I had no idea barkers could be so loaded. Yes, sir. This job is all about results. Oh, and just between you and me, the trick is to come up with as many euphemisms for boobs as you can. <laughs> Guys, just eat that shit up. That actually works? How many do you have? <laughs> well, there's jugs, jigglers, jumbos, bosoms, biggins, bazongas, love bubble, blouse biscuits. Should I keep going? Somebody, please clip this. I need this information for later. <sighs> that was more than I ever needed to hear. Righteous! Anyway, 
What I want you to do is head to Apple Pie over on Tenkaichi Street and ask for a girl named Madoka. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Unless that's her. Her. You forgot Bunny Hills. Hi, <laughs> Vince. Unless that's her code name or something. Okay, Madoka-san it is. Right. Also, tell whoever's on duty there that I'll be footing the bill. I'll be chilling at their at the smoking area inside Kamado Theater, so let me know how it goes when you're done. Okay, will do. We have just gotten majorly sidetracked. I thought this was going to be a real quick thing. Okay, apple pie. <laughs> I don't know what to fucking say right now. Good time. Ow! My face! My beautiful face! Really, guys? easy to get sidetracked. Right. This must be that apple pie place. Sexy club. Excuse me. Hi there. You say I say it. Welcome to Apple Pie. Would you like to request a hostess? Oh, that would be... No. Hey there, handsome. If you're looking for someone special, why don't you tag along with me? <laughs> or how about me? I give all my guys the very best service. Actually, does a girl named Madoka work here? <laughs> what? You want to request Madoka-chan? <sighs> Her, of all people? Hmm? Is there some kind of problem? Um, well, no. But she can be a little... Well, you'll see. So Madoka is available then? Yes, absolutely. I'll reserve your table right away. But please keep in mind, we don't offer a return policy. I'm sure she'll be just fine. Oh, and put it on Yosuke's tab. I see, so you're with Yosuke-san. Okay, understood. <laughs> Try not to get too dejected, hun. At least you won't be drinking alone. Mm -hmm. What was that all about? It is her, isn't it? Oh, hello. Um, I'm Madoka. Hi there. I'm Yagami. Is it her? It looks like her. I, uh... I guess I'll sit right here. The sister? Is that the sister? I don't know. I can't tell. It's not? Oh, okay. It's not. Never mind. Kind of does look like her, though, a little bit. She got nice tits, though. She's got the honkiest hooters I've ever seen. Hmm. Man, she's quiet. I guess I'm the one who has to break the ice. Man, Yagami does not look good. So, Madoka-chan, you seem pretty young to be working here. Oh, well, um... <laughs> uh, hey, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't you buy us some drinks? Then I might actually tell you how old I am. Maybe. That was a pretty blunt upsell. Not to mention, she's not much for conversation. Oh no. So, uh, did you want to order something? Well, Yosuke did say I could order some drinks on the house. Looks like I'm gonna need it. Yeah, I'll be taking one of these. The 20,000 yen one. Uh, are you sure? It's 20,000 yen, you know. Four zeros? Yep, I'm sure. Bring me the good stuff. Wow, thank you so much. Ugh. Whew, that drink could make a buffalo stumble. But I can still keep going. 
Hmm. Ugh, this is going nowhere. Why is she still all clammed up? Excuse me. I'll take another round of that 20 grand. Hi. Oh, sure thing. Coming right up. Ugh. Oh, I think I'm tapped out for today. Um, hmm, you don't look so good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I overdid it. Damn, guess my tolerance is slipping. What just happened? Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me, is Madoka-chan here? Ah, oh, you're the gentleman from before. Yes, she's available. Great, then I'd like to go with her, please. I, did I... Did I fail? Is How could I fail? I need more alcohol tolerance. Oh, I get it. Builds up alcohol tolerance. like we can continue this right now so i guess we're doing a main story okay so we were going to go to tenkaichi alley to try to find this who's on this jester guy where he went This is where the thief helped me out. Nothing seems out of the ordinary, though. Ah. Wait, isn't that him? I've got to get to him before he bails. Does look like him. Hey, you! Huh? You're... Hmm? <laughs> are you... Uh, are you here on the trail of a certain thieves? I'm a huge fan. Mm -hmm. Huh? You're a fan? I guess that's not him. Burglary ring supporter. Yeah, I'm a major thief aficionado. When I heard they've been spotted here, I totally had to come down and check it out. Wait, so you're not a member yourself? Nah, but I look the part, right? You wouldn't believe that I went through to get this stuff. Yeah, but why? <laughs> because! Just check out these silver accessories, man. 500,000 yen when all was said and done. Huh? You're kidding me, right? What's even the point of wearing that much bling? All the ones that the thieves wear cost like a few more zeros. But you can't fault a guy for wanting to dress like his heroes, can you? Oh, so these thieves have a style? I guess even thieves need to make a fashion statement. It's more of a recent thing. They used to be pretty generic. But now they wear really high-end brands. When you get as good as them, I guess you can afford it. So I see. The fee they offered was pretty generous, so I could already tell they weren't broke. Uh, accessory evidence. Sorry, man. Can I ask to snap you to snap a pic of me? I gotta post it to my chatter. Uh, I'm a little busy for that. Sorry. Well, this was a dead end. Maybe I should try Senrio Avenue. Well. Well, well, well. We know where he picked that mask up. Ooh! Sen- good old Senrio. right there said the dopey cop hmm? what's going on fox oh my god <laughs> i dropped my controller <laughs> where's kodum <laughs> there you are his name is fox Dude, I think you're right. 
I think you're right. They're they're definitely based on the Phantom Thieves. I don't know about mascara though. Mascara? Maybe Queen? I don't know. Weren't those two in the same group of thieves? <clears throat> Damn it! Excuse me. Did those guys just steal something, officer? Yeah, some poor woman's handbag. Hmm? Really? Weren't they those thieves everyone's talking about lately? I thought they only stole from the unjust. Steal <laughs> from the unjust! That's a bald-faced lie. Nothing but propaganda. As you can tell, they're out here stealing whatever they can get their grubby mitts on. Just or not, they are both Sega properties at the end of the day. They are. They are. Oh my goodness. This doesn't add up. This guy said something about meeting at Kamurocho Theater. Or Kamuro Theater. Maybe I should just... Maybe I can catch up to them. Wow. Doom, I thought you were just reading too much into it, but now I'm a believer. The roof? We haven't been up here. Oh, a nice place. This is where those two purse snatchers were going to meet. <gasps> Those clothes. Is that them? You, Close one. <sighs> I told you this was a bad move, man. We're just robbers now. I thought we were only going to steal from the wicked. Isn't that Crow's whole philosophy? Maybe it was, but that hypocrite doesn't practice what he preaches. So why should we? Hmm? What? That's what I read on the net too, but it's really true? Well, here's what I heard. Basically, he got offered a job by some big corporation to steal secrets from their competition. The money they offered was so good, the senior members knew they couldn't turn it down. So they took it and then split the profits and none of it even made it down to grunts like us. What about Jester? He would never do that, would he? No way. Jester's not like that. So what they told us about how he quit over the profit splitting, think that's true? No way. He didn't like how Crow was running the show, so he split. Damn, dude. <laughs> but I still say Jester's an idiot too. Just because you claim you're a righteous thief doesn't mean you're not going to do time if the cops catch you. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> this is weird. So what's the point? May as well try to come out ahead. I guess, but you think the rest of the crew knows all this? I doubt the newbies do. They all bought into Crow's lies and they probably think Jester's actually missing. So I say we keep thing getting better and hope Crow cuts us in on the next big job. Good plan as any, right? Wait a sec. Fuck it. I can't do this anymore. I'm going to quit. Maybe I should just turn myself in. Hmm. Well, shit. Sounds like this client's been trying to play me. Jester isn't missing. He just quit because this group got hijacked by this Crow guy. And if I had to guess Crow's motivation for looking for Jester... Well, it couldn't be good. Ah. I think me and my client need to have a discussion. Why are they posh? I was trying to do a Yusuke voice. Because he's Fox. <laughs> Alright, you got some explaining to do. Oh, is it this guy? Oh, because they think he's him. Oh, no. Ah? Who the hell are you? You're trying to impersonate Jester with that mask? Ah? You aren't him. You trying to pull a fast one on us, dumbass? Ah! I'm sorry. Besides, Jester never wore all this loud, tacky shit. <laughs> so here's a good plan. Why don't we take it off your hands? Then you'll really look the part. 
Those guys, what are they doing? Oh, what do you think? Ugh. They're beating him up. Hey, stop. <laughs> Looks like we got company. Bring him down too. You asked for it. I'm just getting started. You done already? I don't understand how to do some of these moves that I got. Like, hold on a second. I want to use, like, my stuff. Press triangle against an enemy's attack while taunting. Well, I guess I have to still be taunting while they're attacking. And this one. Press triangle while holding down R1 after a, tri a square triangle triangle combo. I've been doing that. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey. Aren't you that weird thieves fan? Yes. Is this, um, Mishima? What happened? I saw the thieves and I wanted to shake their hands, but then they kinda. Yagami san, you came at a bad time. Hey. Bro, what's going on here? A little slip up. More importantly, did you find Jester? Not yet. I'm disappointed for a detective with a reputation for proving a murder suspect innocent. You're not that impressive. I could say the same for you, righteous thieves. What a joke. And your missing friend? That's all a lie too, right? You're coming on pretty strong there, Yagami. Why would you ever think that? I think there's plenty of evidence. Okay, one of the burglars is getting particular... Wait, what evidence would prove that these thieves are anything but righteous? The accessory or the oath breaker. Crow broke the burglary's rule to steal only from the corrupt. This one. Reveal the evidence. The way I hear it, you broke the rule about only stealing from the corrupt. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? The job was too good to pass up, wasn't it? You couldn't resist. You're talking out your ass. I don't keep any of the money I steal. It seems stupid to even have to point this out, but... Uh... Jewelry? That crap you're wearing? I heard it's expensive. And how many do you even have? More than I could afford. <laughs> now we're seeing the detective come out. You have a good eye. So tell me, why... Why are you really looking for Jester? Oh, so tell me. Why are you really looking for Jester? No reason, really. Just had a pretty tempting offer for him. We're going to rob the security van of a credit union. And the best part? The client is the credit union's manager. Hmm? What? They need a robbery to happen to cover up their financial failure. A classic insurance fraud. They get reimbursed by their insurance, and they expect us to give back what we steal, doubling their profits. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no intention of giving it back. People are such idiots when they're backed into a corner. So you're staging a robbery and then breaching your contract. What happened to honor among thieves? That's how it was at first. We used to talk big back on... We used to talk big on back channel net chats. But we'd always chicken out when it came to pulling the heist. We were all talk. Just a bunch of losers on the web. Until he showed up. You mean Jester? Uh. Yeah, he was a genius. He knew how to execute a plan. We owed it all to him that we got big enough to gain a following. Yeah, and then he left you high and dry when you got too greedy. Yep. He was all about pu punishing social injustice, always acting so high and mighty. And what makes you think he'll help you on this fraud heist? Who knows? If he saw what a payday it's going to be, even he might have a change of heart. 
and if he didn't then i guess we'd be parting ways permanently sounds like that was your plan from the beginning i take it you planned on getting rid of me too of course especially now that you know what i've told you i'm afraid your time has come yeah right i took your job and i expect to get paid wow really okay crow you double crosser you the player to disband your little group before you do anything really stupid and i think you owe an apology to everyone who joined you thinking you were some righteous bandit Ugh, i'll end it man will you really though here we go again yagami son mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you ever see jester and he's still out there playing the hero. Can you tell him to take it down a notch? What do you mean? He's overextending himself. I don't really know what fuels his rage against injustice. Probably some tragic shit in his past. But he's gotta stop. He'll get caught. Yeah. Alright, I'll talk to him. I'll put the money directly into your bank account. Later. Well, this didn't get me any closer to Jester. I think I learned a few things about him all the same. I think something tragic might have happened to our jester friend. Hello? Oh god, it's, it's this guy. Masuda told me to give you a ring. Yes, Masuda kept his word. You need something? Yeah, info I hear you got. You got the cash? I'm done handing out freebies. Oh, and the price will depend on what you want to know. Well, it just so happens you already told Kaito-san the price. 200 grand. Mm -hmm. You know how all that money got stolen from the Matsugane? I want to know what happened to it. And what? I said it'd be 200k? That's what he told me. In that case, let's make it 100. Price drops with age. Oh, does it? Look, I'm not pulling the numbers out of my ass. I got calculations. System. Anyway, I'll drop by your place tomorrow. Have the cash ready. Um, I hmm. wonder why he would just offer to lower the price like that. Okay. Well, dang it. I wanted, I thought we were going to find out about Jester. How disappointing. Uh oh, hey. Stuff. Could raise our alcohol tolerance. Though. I feel like we could handle more. How much SP we get for that? Must we? Guess we'll never know. Oh, it's a different. I just see him. Stronger. Very elaborate. Damn. Really, guys? <laughs> Did we take damage during that? No, drunk Yagami too strong. this one got it rest 
I will be stopping by tomorrow. Might be a good idea to get some shut eye. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I wonder if it'll be daytime when we wake up. And if so, will we still be able to do the date with that girl? Looks like we're sobered up for some reason. Let's go. I think apple pie is like right around here. All right, here we go. Apple pie. Let's talk to our, let's see our girl again. Hey, you came back. Of course. I could hardly finish my drinks last time. And let's take it nice and slow today, hmm? I'm gonna drink a lot. At least I'll contribute to her sales. Ugh. That drink could make a buffalo stumble. But I can still keep going. Hmm. Ugh, this is going nowhere. Why is she still all clammed up? Excuse me. I'll take another round of that 20 grand. Hi. Oh, sure thing. Coming right up. Ooh, this shit's strong. Good thing I'm a little bit stronger. <laughs> Amazing. You really hold your alcohol well. Hmm. Gosh, this is weird. It's like I'm talking to a doll. Not that I would know anything about that. <laughs> uh -huh. We're learning more and more about Yagami every day. Um, aren't you going to ask to, you know, do something with me? Hmm? Something like what? You, do you know what kind of club this is? Don't you? Um, I'm just happy talking. Yes, but I find it more fun just to talk. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, what? You're actually having fun? Even though you're stuck here? With me? Yeah. Yeah, so you don't need to worry. I can keep my hands to myself. Oh, okay. You're a pretty nice guy, you know that? <laughs> I was only nervous because I thought you were going to touch me. Ah, so that's why you're so quiet this whole time. Yeah, my heart was hammering so loudly, I could barely hear my own thoughts, let alone focus on talking. Oh, she sucks at her job because she's afraid? Why is she working here? Poor girl. Hmm, that makes sense. <laughs> Not that I'm any good at talking to begin with. Can't argue with that. Uh, I mean, oh. What would make you... What would make you work here even though you don't like talking to people? <sighs> well, I thought that if my customers were only interested in groping me, I wouldn't have to worry about being all social. That's some strategy you got there. But why would you put yourself through that, a nice young girl like you? <sighs> well, it's because I'm trying to put myself through school. Ever since my parents back home got sick, I've been paying my own tuition along with all my living expenses. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you're a student then. Mm. That's right. I'm going to college right now. Hmm. Must be difficult handling all that by yourself. Have you tried looking for scholarships? I have, but the only offers I get are student loans. With interest rates that like... With interest rates like that, I'd never be able to repay them. If I work at a club like this, I can earn a lot in no time at all. That is, as long as I can put up with it. I see. So that's what was going on. Yeah, a lot of college girls ended up working in sex shops, you know. But since I don't want to actually give myself to men that way, I chose to work here instead. Jeez, it's a shame the society has put some of you girls in such a tough position. <laughs> you really think so? You're weird. But you know what? I actually kind of like you. You're nice to talk to. <laughs> hmm. You're sure that's not just sales talk? Yeah. Of course not. Don't be rude. And besides, you know I'm not that good at talking. <laughs> yeah. You sure about that? If you talk to other customers the way you did just now, I bet a lot of them would be happy. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. This... Friendship seems like it's going to be a very involved one. I noticed that some of them are really quick, and then this one seems... Um, like it's going to... We're going to have to talk to her a few times. Did you enjoy your time with Madoka-chan? I hope she didn't offend you in yep. any way. 
Well, she called me rude, but aside from that, I guess she was pretty chill. Oh, she was fantastic. I'll definitely be back. I gotta say, it really is shocking to see Madoka enjoying her time with a customer. She's never like that. Yeah, like the other day she was so quiet, a customer thought she was a foreigner who couldn't speak Japanese. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yep, it's the first time I've seen her engage in a normal conversation like this. You must be a pretty smooth dude. Yeah. Madoka's pretty different from the other girls. But she's a keeper, so if you like her, be good to her, okay? Yeah. I'll be sure to. Aw, that's kind of sweet. It's like... I thought they... I thought those girls, like, hated her the way they were talking at first, but it seems like they... They like her, but they just realize that she sucks at her job. Um, well, better report back to Yosuke-san. I'm sure he'll have a thing or two to say. All right. Yeah, let's go see Yosuke. This freaking kid with all these guys. What the hell? Hey. Yosuke-kun, I went to visit Madoka-chan. Oh, no. And how was she? Yeah, so she didn't seem like the hostess type at all. I wonder if she'll be okay over there. Did she flinch or start crying when you touched her? Or did she maybe slap you in the face? Hmm? What? No. I didn't lay a finger on her, man. It's not my style. Really? Yagami-san, you're such a good guy. I knew I could count on you. Hey. Wait, what's going on here? You set me up to go out with a student, and now you're happy we didn't do anything? Huh? Oh, she actually told you she was a student? Man, I'm impressed. <laughs> Damn, that's nothing short of a miracle. Yeah, I brought, brought my, in my fair share of customers, but you're the first she's opened up to. See? Madoka-chan really rarely talks to anyone at work, and I doubt she'd tell anyone about her personal life. That's what they said at the club, too. Yosuke-kun, is it Madoka-chan to Who is Madoka-chan to you, anyway? You were saying there was some kind of reason behind all this? Hmm. You seem like a trustworthy guy. Okay, I'll spill the beans. So, Madoka-chan was actually my senior in high school. Okay. She was really popular because of her huge chest. So we all teased her by calling her Madonka donk You know, like Madonka donks Yeah, I know, Yosuke, I know. Madonka donk wow. Ah. I thought that word meant ass. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was close enough. And besides, it's not like she knew the difference. Anyway, Madonka Donk got me through some really hard times. If you know what I mean. <laughs> That's more than I cared to know, Yosuke. I don't know what he means. Chotta. No, that's not what I was saying at all. I would never think of her like that, despite the phenomenal size of her melons. I meant that she used to look after me. We were in the same academic club, so we spent a lot of time together. And when I was about to get held back a grade, she intervened by helping me with my schoolwork. So that's why you're so hell-bent on helping her. She sounds like a really caring person. Hi. She is. Only thing is, she's not super sociable and she couldn't hold a conversation with a mirror. That's why she doesn't get too many customers, even though she has to pay for her tuition and who knows what else. <laughs> So I came up with a plan to bring in harmless looking guys and get them to request her. Ah, uh, now I get it. Why don't you just support her with all the money you've been making? Yeah. No, there's no way I could damage her sense of pride. Madonka Donk was never really one to accept charity. Stop calling her that for one! She'd probably say something like, Don't worry about it, Yosuke-kun. I can get by on my own. I understand. Does she know you're working as a barker? Nope. I'm just cheering her on from the sidelines. Okay. It's... He's pretty sweet. He's kind of sweet, but he's still weird. He still creeps me out. Something about him creeps me out. Oh, no. Now that you know all this, would you maybe pay her a visit on your own and spend a lot of money on her? And... And... If you have any harmless friends, could you send them my way so I can introduce them to her? Yeah. Well, okay. I'll at least give it some thought. Oh, what? Yagami-san. Oh, 
Yagami-san, are you interested in being bombarded with boobage? Or perhaps you found a trustworthy companion who won't do anything too naughty? Hmm. Hmm, do I know any guys like that? Genda sensei Hoshino-kun? Who's... Wait, Hoshino? Genda is our lawyer boss. I don't remember who Hoshino is. He's the young guy from the office. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's try Genda first. I'm sure Genda sensei could use a break every now and then. Or not. I don't want to imagine the look on his face in front of a pair of Madonka donks. Hmm. In that case, okay, Hoshino? Hoshino kun? Wait, that won't work. If Saori san found out, she'd never speak to a, either of us again. Probably a good idea to find someone who can keep this whole thing discreet. Hmm. In that case. Oh, Kaito san? Um, I don't think so. Oh, what about Kaito-san? Nah, I bet he's an animal with the ladies. He'd totally try to cop a feel, yep. In fact, he'd probably try for more. Please, no! I wouldn't want anyone like that even near Madoka-chan! Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Okay, who else? Well, I guess I got nobody. Uh, nobody for now. Ah, I see. So you only have perverted friends then? Not exactly, but... Hmm. Maybe you're right. If that's the case, then let me know if you make any trustworthy comrades who can help our mission succeed. <laughs> I am on the case. I will try to find some non-perverted men. Yeah, it's a lost cause. Return to Yagami Detective Agency. Oh, right. We were going to rest. And possibly make it daytime. I'm not sure. <clears throat> and then we're going to meet up with Ayabe. Exhausted. Exhausted. <sighs> Hello? It's Ayabe. Wake up and look behind you. Huh? <laughs> That's not creepy at all. God, next time just knock, would you? Those must be the files he promised. Those the files on the Matsugane robbery investigation? Investigation? What have you been smoking? No Yakuza's gonna report a robbery on their office. I mean... They'd have cops swarming the place. Wait. The Matsugane incident was never a formal case. I rounded all of this up myself. You have cash? A hundred grand, just like you asked. No! Nice. My money! Everything's so clear. These are practically real case files. You want to know how long I spend on this stuff? Way more than I do on the streets, that's for sure. <laughs> Someone's proud of himself. <laughs> now then, this is the floor plan for the Matsugane family office. It's from a year ago when the break-in happened. They haven't remodeled since then, have they? I don't think Doubt so. It. So the question is, how did the thief break in, get the money, and make it out? I think it was an inside job. So, to avoid getting seen by the security camera, the thief snuck in behind a guy coming in. Once they were in the camera's blind spot, he pistol whipped the guy and knocked him out cold. At the time, Kaito was the only one watching over the office. That's why the thief went in at 3pm. Barely any guards to deal with. All he had to do was point his gun at Kaito and get him to open the safe. There was only one thief. Why didn't Kaito-san fight back? What would you do if a guy pointed a gun at your head and then shot the ceiling to prove his point? Even a guy like him would freeze up under that kind of pressure. 
You're really gonna chance playing hero? Once the safe was open, the thief smacked Kaito too. Knocked him out just like the last guy. And that's how the story ends. So he broke in specifically when nobody was around. Ballsy, right? Raiding a Yakuza office with just a pistol. Sounds a little too well thought out. <laughs> this guy was a pro. And consider this. If he didn't know when the office would be empty, he'd never have been able to pull it off. Clearly, he had a contact on the inside. Mm-hmm. Maybe. But still, I don't understand why Kaito-san reacted like that. Normally, he'd have killed the guy or died trying. <laughs> Thought you'd say that. Hmm? That was all just a warm-up. This next bit is what's worth the hundred grand. So, I said Kaito was alone in the office, right? Well, turns out someone else was there too. Huh? Higashi. He saw the whole thing go down. But Kaito's the guy who took the proverbial bullet. Bad move, dumbass. He's reading manga. Open the fucking safe. Hurry up or I'll kill you. Interesting. Well then, you better make it count. Otherwise, it's gonna be my turn. Apparently, the poor guy was polishing his boss's shoes off in the corner. By the time he figured out what was going on, he was fucked. Okay, then. You got me. The money's yours. So, I'm guessing he didn't fight back because he didn't want this guy to... I'll just... Go get it. Do anything stupid and get himself killed. <laughs> you guess he couldn't forget that face if he tried. It was seared into his memory. You could say it all worked out for the best, since no one got killed. You could also say Higashi abandoned his Oniki and let the thief get away. And that's one way for a Yakuza to lose a finger. Kaito never did tell anyone else that Higashi froze like a deer in the headlights. Instead, he took the fall for the missing hundred mil and got himself tossed out of the family. Hmm, he took the fall for that <laughs> Why guy. Why am I not surprised? That sounds exactly like what Kaito-san would do. Right? But what happened next? How did Higashi get the money back? Couldn't have been easy. He chased the thief down and took it back. Thought that'd get Kaito back into the fold, which it obviously didn't. Thing is, he needed access to the police database to search for faces. The police database? That means... I see it now. That's why you know what you do, huh? You think so? It's the only way you'd know about this case. They never filed a police report after all. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Long story short, Higashi used the database and found his man. A homeless guy living on the streets of Kamurocho. Known around town as Red Nose. It's just a Here. random homeless just guy? Just sent you a pic. That's what he looked like before his life went to shit. This is Red Nose? Well, his nose is pretty red. I don't think his nose is all that red. <laughs> Not my name. Don't ask me. It's not, are we anyway, looking at the same picture, Yagami? I think you know what came next. 
He tracked Red Nose down and took the money back. But Kaito-san's still out in the cold. Ain't that funny? Meanwhile, Higashi's shooting up the ranks. Guess he got on Hamura's good side. And Red Nose? Haven't heard a peep about him. And I'm keen to keep it that way. Higashi didn't kill him, did he? Beats me. Hmm. Well, how was it? Worth the hundred G's? So who was the Red Nose's contact in... I mean, I'm guessing Hamura was involved. Right? Probably him. A year ago, Higashi must have turned the city upside down looking for Red Nose. If a guy like him could pull that off, so can I. Oh, we gonna look for Red Nose? Can we call Red Nose Rudolph? Let's do it. Need to figure out if Red Nose is still alive. Okay. Hello. Do you have a second? Huh? I'm looking for a man named Red Nose. Red Nose? That homeless guy? Yeah, I know. I ain't seen him in at least a year, though. Any idea where he went? Nope. Uh, maybe a drink will jog your memory? No, I, I really don't know. Go bug someone else. You have a minute, sir? Wake up, buddy. What do you want? Uh, I'm looking for someone. A man by the name of Red Nose. Call that a Red Nose? I sure as hell don't. Yeah, I thought the same thing. It looks red! Guess that's what his friends it's call him. It's hella red! Never seen him. Now fuck off, yeah? Well, fuck Damn you! Damn guy. Damn guy? <laughs> Sorry, mind if I ask you a question? What is he doing? <sighs> Go on. Is Do that you know a heater? homeless guy named Red Nose? Here he lives around here. Nope, not ringing a bell. I only just moved to this part of town. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Hmm. Well, that's no bueno. It's not gonna help me out at all. Sorry. Can I ask you something? Depends. What do you want? I'm looking for someone. A man by the name of Red Nose. Red Nose? Never heard of him. Nothing, huh? But maybe my friends know something. Can you ask them? You bet. Might take some time, though. That's all right. I can wait. If you say so. Oh, and in return, I've got this thing called a play pass. You mind taking a shot at it? Come Is again? It time? It's for a new game this big shot committee just opened. They call it Dice and Cube over at Paradise VR. Which is what? It's uh, some kind of fancy board game. You wear stupid glasses, you roll dice, a heck of a lot. It's over on Theater Alley, and you need one of the play passes to get in. Huh. This town's crazy sometimes. I hear they got some pretty nice prizes if you win, too. But my legs are shot to shit. No VR for this hobo. Yeah, I guess you'd still have to move around. I got a few friends who've tried, but it sounds like they're all having trouble. So I want you to get a prize for me. Young guy like you can do it no problem. What do you say? Sounds interesting. All right, you wait here. I'll go win you that prize. Thanks something... a million, buddy. I'll specific? ask around about your red nose in the meantime. Something specific you wanna, uh, want me to win for you? Okay, we can finally do VR. Here we go. What everybody's been waiting for, including myself. All right, let's see what the hubbub is all about. This should be interesting. Welcome to Paradise VR. Where you can play the latest in virtual reality entertainment. The one and only Dice and Cube. A VR pair of dice. Do you have the have play passes? Each course costs a different number of play passes. Um, isn't that the thing the homeless guy gave yep. me? Is this a play pass? Huh? Oh, a free trial play pass. You can play with just one of these. Have you played Dyson Cube before? Nope. No, this is my first time. 
I see. In that case, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm a receptionist today. Naisu Daisu. As in, nice dice? I'm so sorry. We hope you have an amazing experience that brings you back for more. Yeah. Thanks. I'll guide you through the short course today. Customers who do well in the short course will get a special surprise. The condition is to clear the stage with more than two dice left in your possession. Do your best. Is this what that homeless guy wanted? Guess I'd better beat the game and bring him back the prize. That's all there is to it. Now please put on these VR goggles. <laughs> and you're all set. Enjoy your trip to Virtual Kamurocho. I have here no idea go. what I'm getting into here. Let's do this. Whoa! Okay. X to roll dice. Check items obtained. Check bonus rewards. Map to well, if it isn't a fresh new face, howdy, the name's Koronian, and I run this dang old dice and cube game. I was born and raised in Hiroshima, you see. Back home, I always dreamed of being a big time mascot, and well, here I am. Sure is nice to have some company in this doggone virtual prison of mine. <laughs> now, let me learn you the rules. There's three basic things you ought to know about dice and cube. First, you can start rolling from their dice with X and stop with X. Second, there's a limit to how many dice you can roll per game. And third, items you find around these parts are converted to cash rewards once all said and done. This third rule is mighty important, but I reckon it's quicker to show you than just running off at the mouth. Now for your first roll! Don't be nervous now, Sunny. Loosen up them shoulders and relax them cheeks. 16 spaces to reach the goal. Go on and roll the dice. Is this like Mario Party? Now. One. Now then, notice the number at the top the dice went down by one. The number shows how many dice you throw during this crazy old game. And when it reaches zero, bang! Boom! Kablaw! It's game over, Sunny! So mind that dice number whenever you make your moves. Oh, but the higher a number is here, the higher the bonus you get. Bonus changes depending on how much you have left. Just press square to look at the details. Let's keep on going, sunny boy. Okay, what? Back in Hiroshima, my pa worked his darndest to make me into a mascot everyone would love. Four dice left. Check bonus. Here goes nothing. You got an item. Alright, a gift space. Take what you can get, eh? Pretty good, sunny boy. This can... You can cash this item in for 10,000 yen. 15 spaces to reach the goal with four dice. Okay. Let's do it. Got a gamble going, by the way, guys. Got some kind of gamble going. Come on. Five, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Two, three, four, five. Event, Come open the safe. Oh, I can do I'm a pro You're at almost this. There. Oh, I suck oh at this. no, I'm not a pro. Nice. Almost there. Perfect. A little bit, a little bit worried about the uh, crossroads. Oh. Ten spaces to go. Now. One. Branching path. 
check what's ahead by pressing L1 and looking at the dang old map. Shit, we better go the short way. This one. No way. Huh? You're all out of dice. Game over. What? Damn, I couldn't do it. I did look ahead. I didn't know I had to pay attention to each individual thing. Let me try again. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this time I got it. I'm sorry for those, for anybody who, we go. who voted Let's for me. Let's do Come on. Three. Here goes nothing. Oh my lord, that's a lot of... Almost there. Nice. Almost there. Nice. Got it. Okay. Small seashell. Crossroads. What? I guess we're going this way. Here we go. Got an item. Ooh, chicken sandwich. Hell yeah. Come on. Three. Come on, roll. Bowl. I guess. Two dice is left. 13 spaces. I can't win yeah. unless I get like extra dice or something. Two, three, four, five. Here goes nothing. Almost it's there. It's like really hard to win this, isn't it? Nice. Or am I just not good? <laughs> if you can get to a dice plus space or reach the goal within that roll, it'll be game over. Well, I need to get a... I need to get an roll extra up. dice roll or something. Oh my god, what the hell? Open the safe. Almost there. Nice. Almost there. Got it. This is too hard. Damn, I couldn't do it. There's also a skill that gives you more Ugh. dice. Oh. Arigatou Hold on, so we probably unlocked some new skills. Yeah. Where is it? Ah. 12,000 SP! Lowers the speed of the dice roll, making it easier to stop where you want. Shit. 12,000? Shit. All right, I think we should save our play passes if we have any left. Or, um, when we can get a little bit of a better advantage there. Because, yeah. Hey, pal, how'd it go? Get me one of those sweet VR prizes? Sorry. Turns out I suck. You couldn't do it, huh? Oh, well. Sorry for borrowing your legs. Anyways, I asked around about your red nose fellow. Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. You're the one looking for that homeless guy? Yeah? You find him? No, not yet. Try heading over to the children's park then. 
Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Kamurocho will be there. Thanks for the tip. Eh, don't mention it. See ya. What a voice. You heading to the children's park too? Me? Nah. I already ate. By the way, this guy I'm looking for, name's Red Nose. You know him? No, man. If you want to find him, you should go check that food handout. It's gonna end soon, you know. Children's Park. Don't forget. It sounds like a robot. It sounds like there are multiple people speaking through to him. Yeah! He's got this weird digitized thing. Yeah. What? I'm trying to get to the children's park. Yo, it's Kaito. Where are you? About to get On some my way free to the food, children's park. Bitch. Think I might run into the thief. You mean the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure. But even if he isn't, I might find a lead or two. According to Ayabe, the thief was a homeless guy by the name of Red Nose. You're saying a bum took our money? Looks like it. No clue if he's still alive, though. After Higashi got to him, that is. Right. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah? Okay. I'm sorry, I had to I had to stop in the middle of the road to take that phone call. I'm not good at multitasking. I can't chew bubblegum and walk. I can't text and walk. I can't answer the phone and walk. I can't pat my head and rub my tummy. I can't do that stuff, okay? I just can't. Okay. Where's my free food? You think they got sandwiches? Hope it's peanut butter and jelly. Ooh, that sounds good. I don't have no, I don't have any bread though. I got bagels though. Only salads. Hey, Shut up. Sorry about this. Hmm? Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. Oh, I think we found Red Nose's homies. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red Nose sends his regards! Oh no, we're fighting bombs! Where's Kaito? What's wrong? Still feeling tough? Well, that does increase our... Yeah. You done already? Good way to get that up. Hmm, still can't use that one ability. I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong here. You guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? <sighs> we wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. Why? When did he die? About a year ago, someone found him floating face up in the sewer. Why are you trying to beat me up over a dead guy? shot up with bullet holes. Ooh. Shot? Did you go to the police? No. Of course not. Yeah, why would what they... are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. That's the best funeral we can give him now. <sighs> right. 
So their friend got murdered and they couldn't do a damn thing about it. Don't have a clue who killed him though, or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? <sighs> Not sure. Those types are kinda out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. Fighting's been the only constant thing in his life. <laughs> That's Kamurocho for you. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Yep, that's him. Not a doubt in my mind. So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I... I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. Quite interesting, isn't it? I'm feeling more and more invested as time goes, as we do little bits and pieces of the story. 